Okay, um, so listen, we're so happy to have you guys here. Uh, I just want to celebrate, and I want to show you guys that I did 40 days of none of this. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, he's masturbating, guys, if you can't see. <laughs> 40 days. <laughs> 40 days of no liquor, no edibles, no sex. No masturbation, and today is the day that all that shit is over. So, yes, yeah, I'm gonna have a toast. Let's have a toast, guys. Let's have a toast. Let's have a toast. This is this is beautiful. We drink a Lori's wine. I, yeah, this, love oh, Jones. this is Love Jones. Uh, this ain't white. Jose. This is the white. This is the white, and um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure on my first sip, I'm going to be drunk. But hey. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So my question <laughs> is, my question: Are you going to drink, eat an edible, masturbate, and have sex all in one night? No, no. I, I, I think I'm gonna chill <laughs> off edibles. I'm gonna chill off edibles for a while. I don't know when I'm. I don't know when I'm gonna indulge in them again. Okay. Like, I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely not jumping back into that. But are you gonna so, dump in some why? pussy? And, am I going to do what? Dump in some pussy. In um, or did you already? No, 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 no. I've been, I've been being domestic. I've been, I've been clean my whole room. And, you know, when you can't, when you can't have sex, you gotta find other shit to do. Like I'll be writing poems and shit now. Like this shit's crazy. Can we hear one of your poems? <laughs> yeah, let's hear, let's hear one. <laughs> I don't got shit memorized. I, I see, I'm in a car. This shit is in my in my crib. So you know, what I mean. But uh, I just want to thank everybody who supported me through this rough time because it was rough, and I didn't know if I was going to get through it. But with God, mm, mm. anything mm -mm -mm. is possible. Amen. Amen to that. Um, hum did the lad to that. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Because it is Passover, right? Is it Passover? Or what, which one is that? Yeah, Passover. It's something. So and yeah. So listen, um, um, I'm just happy to be off it. Um, the quarantine helped me a lot because it really did. Have... So you really didn't do much. Damn, right, I don't right, get me, no credit I'm gonna, though. I'm gonna give you a little bit of credit, <laughs> but the quarantine helped. The quarantine helped a lot because well, it helped with. The not drinking and the having sex part. But then again, I mean, I could have just told somebody, like, if I wanted to, like, you know, come over to crib. But, you know, I, I, I didn't I didn't do anything. Like, I didn't indulge in anything like that. So, um, but the quarantine slowed a lot of shit down. Um, it's, killing, it's killing a lot of people, too. Uh, I just want y'all to be prepared. I hope y'all got guns. I need y'all to be prepared because this shit about to get fucking real. This is Resident Evil right now without the zombie. I mean, I, I can agree. I definitely, one of my girlfriends, her mother called her and told her to get herself a gun. Mm. Um, Her and her brother, because she definitely feels as though where this is going, they just going to start looting and doing all other crazy shit. So, you know, I mean, at this point, we're out of school for the rest of the year. So it's yeah. very dis disappointing because I feel like it, it is a little, it's like, it's, I feel like we're in an out of body experience. Like things that you know might, ever, might happen are actually happening. Like we never thought that you would not have a graduation. Not yeah, have that. The, the fact that these kids are missing prom and all that stuff is so sad to me. Prime graduation, just the high school students alone is the, the sad part for me. Yeah. Like, my niece is supposed to graduate this year. She went on her junior prom last year and looked senior prom so I guess that's good, but she still didn't get the senior prom. Right. It's not the same And then thing. the juniors that was like, so, oh, no, I'm waiting till my senior year because I'm going to throw that shit down. Exactly. Her her high school has the junior, senior yeah, prom. Yeah, we do so too. We do too. I guess it's kind of, you know, I don't know, but that it's just a shame that you – do all of this work to graduate high school and make it to this, make it this far for some, some shit that was put out here to kill people and has ruined the rest of the world. And not for nothing, it's just 
it's really to me. It's like it's it's, it's a it's like an unreal situation. It's very like every day. I'm like I want to pinch myself and be like, okay, you ever watch binge watch something or watch a movie and then you dream about that being in that movie? I feel like we're in a movie mm-hmm. and it's like somebody needs to just wake up. No, we definitely in a movie right now. Who's the writer? I don't even. We definitely, we definitely in a movie. Um, this is very scary. Yeah. Three of sep- three of septic co-workers passed away from it. Three of my close friends have it. Mm. Um, three of my actual co-workers that I hang, I used to, you know, hang out with and got a relationship with. Three of them got it. One got it real bad. So, um. It's it's tough, man. It's really tough to deal with because, like, you could walk around with it and not and not have any symptoms. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like, I called two times. I called my primary care doctor. I'm like, listen, I'm an asthmatic, so you know, you know, I, I have breathing problems, and I need to know, like, you know, what what steps should I take? If they said if you don't have one. Out of the three symptoms, we can't test you. Right, right. So I'm like, well, some people got it but don't have no symptoms. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I think at this point it's important to know that if you don't have symptom symptoms and you may have had it, the good part is you don't have no symptoms. So that you are able to get through whatever maybe two weeks you need to just quarantine so that you don't give it to nobody else and then you can come out of it. Um I, I'm for me. I'm also at this point now I'm trying to look at what positivity can I bring out of this. Like, I felt like I've saved more money in the last three weeks than I have in yeah. a while. Um, I'm now working on my home projects, so things that I wanted to get done, I'm actually going to be getting done. So I'm happy about that. Like, finish my bedroom, about to work on my daughter's room, then finish in my living room, then going to work on my my. Laundry room. So it's like I got time to spend money that I wasn't going to spend. I was going to spend on trips and other goofy shit. So I do think if people are smart and you don't have no symptoms and you have to stay home, use it as a time to do something that you weren't going to do. Be creative. Yeah. Like niggas gotta be creative. Yeah. Be real productive. Like I hear a lot of people bitch like, oh, we gotta stay in the house and we gotta and I know it gets boring, but to to all my artistic people who, you know, is in that, you know, in that industry, whether it's a uh, spoken word, uh, songwriting, acting, whatever, this is the time to be real, really, really creative. You got a lot of time on your hands. You got a lot of time on your hands to do something to help you when this shit is over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been writing. Almost. Oh, so we gonna I mean, have a right, level ass right, report three? No, so I, I, I'm 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 not totally done with lovable asshole, but I'm writing a show about suicide, and um, I wanted to be up by September mm-hmm. for Suicide okay. Awareness Month, but I'm not sure, you know, about this, you know, with the. With the state of this corona shit, I don't know when this shit is going. But leave even if you're writing, you know how long a project can take. So even if it's next year, you know through the writing right. and the editing I'm be, process, I'm already be you'll be ready. ready. Like, so my production is going to already be ready. I that actually I'm makes sense. Like, if you finish writing and then you go through the editing process, go through the pre-production process. By summertime of next year, you'll be in rehearsal, and then September is your time. Yeah, and that's the that's the good thing. Like if I have, like when I did. Uh, lovable asshole. When I when I when I did it for uh, in Mania, I had to do a Zoom conference because some motherfuckers couldn't make it. So that's the good thing. Like it's it, like you said, it's always a good thing. It, there's always good things where sometimes bad shit is right. happening. Like a lot of people can't meet. That's fine. I can read my script. And you can listen and watch, and then you could do the same thing you would do if you was in right. front of me. Like no, slap right. this right. out. Put this in, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't. I don't oh know, yeah, definitely can edit you know, it. That's chronological order. Maybe you should put this in. So, I mean, there, there, there are there, there is some good to this. Where if you are the type of individual who knows how to be 
creative at this time. So, right. um, I, I um, since I mean, by the grace of God, I'm you know working at a full time job again. Because this time last year, if this happened last year, this would have really jacked me up financially, like bad. Because you probably have been doing. You probably have been been on some coke. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> yeah, oh, no. like you know, I was I was doing a lot of Uber and stuff. I guess I actually, you probably would Uber, yeah, Uber but, Eats is like but a million right now. Uber Eats. My friend is doing DoorDash, and he said he made thirteen hundred dollars doing with a total of six hours of driving time in a oh, day. Yeah. That's really yeah. good for for a week. But the um, uh, I was like, that's good. That's that's really damn good. <laughs> but Cause, uh, but I, again, like right now, so it's like business as usual for the most part for me, as far as work is concerned, I feel like I'm working more actually, cause I'm at home working cause I'm getting online earlier than what I normally would. Cause I'm already up at this time. So I'm online. Then I'm staying on like an hour or two later, right. but, um, it's just the system is a little bit slower cause you're not on those servers. Like mm-hmm. you would be in the, at, physically in the office, but you know, I'm just hoping that it doesn't end up because if everything stays like this for the long run, that it doesn't end up coming to a point where we have to they have to do layoffs or something like that. But yeah, you know, other than that, I find like I just it's just nice to be able to get outside sometime. At least for right now, we can still step outside. It's not too where like where yeah, we can't be in in the out in the atmosphere right, right. at all. I'm gonna tell you this: but, the the blessing is. You can see how these niggas really look. Now. <laughs> Everybody. A nigga called me. <laughs> bitch got edges. Oh, and she got hair. And she actually still look okay without makeup. Some of these bitches don't. I'm just, I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> Some of these bitches didn't look okay when you could go get your But hair that's what I'm saying. Up. Now you taking these fucking lace fronts off. Bitches is hurting. Foreheads is huge. I'm like, what is going on? Hey, hey man. <laughs> I ain't mad. I mean, I embraced my and forehead years ago. I'm going to tell y'all this. Wow, I never really paid your forehead. And no they was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, but you probably could take a, a, a chair shot. Like a WWE chair <laughs> shot. And it would not hurt you. But my thing is, how's y'all niggas staying up? Because them, them uh, beards... They sneak into the barbershop, slap Jones... into the barbershop at least once. But how... My fucking barber come to my crib. <laughs> my, I got a, I got a, I got a barber. He, I'm getting my hair cut Saturday morning. Look, my barber said, look, I'm only going to certain people houses that I know that's clean. But here's the thing. He said, a barber I... just passed away because he was still doing cuts at the coronavirus. I heard about that. Yeah, but it ain't about even that. about you being. You mean just clean, just just not infected, right? You could be a very clean person and still be. I infected. also, I think it's also because you can't. And I wanted to say people is not running the streets and not out and doing dumb goofy shit. But it takes you, know you what? one. It takes one me. interaction. If I'm at Target and I gotta do something, what the fuck? Like I'm at Target, so I can't. What is happening? I, I can't I can't say that because I lost show again on here. It, it could easily be like boom, and then I'm fuck. I got that shit. But as long as you and Target masked up, and right? Dumb, because dumb. when right. I was in Target, your ass <laughs> walked up on me with nothing. We all we did that doing raw like, dog. I felt like I was. I let a nigga hit raw. That's how I felt. <laughs> y'all was y'all uh, y'all probably all it got was three it, niggas uh, around me. I felt like I just had a train time. with no condom. <laughs> First Damn. time with Kyra, it was definitely raw dog in Target. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, nasty. <laughs> definitely was raw dog. Nobody. It was definitely raw dog. Nobody had that. Kyra fucking. Kyra fucking twerking in the goddamn produce aisle. I was not twerking in the produce. Oh my aisle. god! Yeah, everybody <laughs> always wants to make something. I ain't twerk. Did I? I might have had something that I wanted. Yeah, you... All right. So listen. Did y'all see? Did y'all see the battle? Last week and the weekend before last. First, let's talk about um Manny Fresh, Scott Storch, Scott Storch, and um Manny, Manny Fresh. Fresh. Um, so I didn't like the matchup because I know Manny Fresh has one genre mm-hmm. of music. You know what I mean? I don't think Manny Fresh should have went up no. against fucking Scott Storch. I think Scott Storch. Should have went up against fucking Lil no, John, I, cause I 
I forgot Little John got a lot of Little John got some hits and he got a lot of he, RB shit. I couldn't believe I did not know that he did tour. When they came up with he said that I was like, What? I, I feel like yeah. I was I'm actually like Scott Storage to me is what like he has hits, yes. But when I went through it, I'm like, I mean, I think it depends on what type of music you like. Like I actually it was supposed to be a beat battle, not Fucking songs. I, I mean, that's what I thought. So I for me, that's I what I think. Like, I like Sky Stories, but if you think about those classic songs that you still, Manny that's got what I'm some saying. Like, jokes. Manny had some classic fucking. You and he didn't even play exactly. all the fucking. So that's my thing. Jokes. Like, I think right. it depends. Like, if if he go off of Wit Wit Platinum shit like that, Scotch had it. Scotch had songs that were depth Scotch. Whatever Scotch. What is Scotch? <laughs> but a Scotch. <laughs> but a Scotch. But a Scotch. Scotch story. He definitely had it though. Like he he had hits. Like, I mean, and I'm not gonna take that away from him. He had a good he had a good um genre and like versatility when it came to the artist, which I liked also. Um but I'm I'm I mean fresh. I, I like that damn south shit. So if you a damn south Lover of damn top music, Manny Fresh definitely held his own. Like he did. Um, but I think that would have to make people like if you for you to like for it to go off that way, it it would become very biased in a sense because that that's how that's why I wasn't a fair yeah. bitch because because Manny's uh, his 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 um portfolio is not as uh diverse as Scott no, as as is. As Scott so you know it is it, it made it but but for some people Manny won and some people Scott yeah. Storch won. To me I would think well, Scott Storch won. Well Manny Manny did not win <laughs> because Manny didn't play a lot of the songs that he should have played. Like what? Like he played some shit only niggas down mm. south knew. Right. Scott Storch played Songs and beats were untouchable. That everybody knew. Everybody right. Scott should have went so, with somebody that was like, I'm trying to think. I don't even want. I did, I like the TP and the Little John. I think that was the best matchup that was. Needed. It was the for me too. Um, I, I, yeah. I think he could have. But but T Pain didn't stand a chance. He did. Him. No, he, did. <laughs> he knew it. He knew it. He but my thing about the reason why Lil Little John. John was a little bit better because if you go through them T Pain songs. Like I had to go and download the T Pain versus Little John. Like somebody did it on iP on um iTunes. I'm like every song. Like there's no there's no bad song. You see what I'm saying? Now the thing with Little John is that he's actually a DJ. T Pain's not. So that's the that to me is the difference. And T Pain. So that that that's the Little John that had like he and and. And Manny, that's what fucked me up about Manny Fresh, because Manny Fresh is a fucking DJ. So I'm like, when Scott Storch played this, why the fuck you ain't come back with something? I, I was just lost. Every time T Pain played something, Lil John had something for his ass. I like, think T Tim for me. For his ass. T Pain like, held his own. Matter. I'm sorry. He held his own. No, T Pain held, held his own. Because T Pain got had a motherfucking hit. Two step, like two step. The remix, hands down, one of my favorite fucking songs. If I hear that shit in the club, no, no, because T Pain verse on that shit. Yes, all that. You see my bank, bro. I got a lot. Oh of my god, he, period. T Pain killer. That was the one but that made me. It was so many like club songs on them. That's why I said T Pain had, had a hype. You know, I didn't. What I did not know, and this was a good thing that I learned. Was one of my favorite songs and favorite line dances is to blow the whistle. I did not know that was Little John. Oh, me and, either. I love oh, blow the whistle. That's, that's my that, shit. That song alone. That was definitely song, Little John. I didn't know that either. I was like, whoa. Win. I'm sorry. I like Little John, but that song was better than any other. Like for me, blow the whistle is hands down one of my is a number one classic in my book. Like. So that was that. that, song, that as soon as that come on, that he he got that bass. On I a did lot. not know that he he uh, produced that song. Once he, Lil John got that shit on lock. But look, the matchup that the world want to see that we're never going to see is going <laughs> to be would be Pharrell against Kanye. Mm. I mean, that would be yeah, crazy. yeah. I will say this though. I think Lil John and T Pain. 
had the funnest matchup. Like it was a good it it brings it Timbo and Swiss. So had I missed a fun that match. one. Well, I, they I, was acting too old. Yeah, I'll like, be honest. I didn't. They were. I missed they it. They I, I missed that age. one. So I needed. I got one once. I was like, damn, I fucking missed that shit. Da, da, da. So I, I missed that one. But I just feel like for the era of music I like, pain and the shit that I like to do, like twerk. I've been listening to their playlist for the last two days when I've been working out. My Anissa, like, I'm over it. I'm not. Like that's how that's what, but yeah, for real, <laughs> I'm not. West, I think it's good. But I kind of see, I, yeah, I think that will make. I think that's an even fair up for real, Kanye West. Yeah, what that's that, and it, the genres are very similar. This and especially old Kanye. What mm-hmm. old Kanye? What for That'll be. We're gonna get Brandy and Monica up. again. That's what we're about to get. <laughs> Brandy it would, it would be hit. deliciously matched up. So, hey, yes. hey, Ron, um, how did you feel about that Netflix movie? Which one? Coffee, so, uh, well, you know, I did, even though, you know, I, uh, I, um, you know, I know what it is. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so, you try to fucking come I heard, I heard, yeah, because I can cover you because I know what it is. I mean, I saw it. You ain't even know what it know, is. I knew what it was. I knew what the Netflix series <laughs> I knew it was a Netflix something because people would like go watch Coffee and, Kar- and Kareem and I'm like I don't know who told you to go watch that. I heard it everybody was 20, that's saying, why I ain't watching it yet. See, everybody keeps saying I saw somebody like I saw like three or four people post like oh go watch it. It hasn't been on my list but if we went to talk everybody about- was like I'm about to go I, every, as soon as I, I heard it some people say it was corny three times I was like I'm not watching this. Neo, Because I already got let down watching that Mark Wahlberg movie uh, cause that was not that good. I feel like y'all gotta remember. No, 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 no. That that movie was it was. Uh, that was it was okay. The Joe with Post Malone yeah, in it, right? It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer yeah. Confidential. It was it was okay. Netflix is known for their series. Stop watching movies on Netflix. I had to tell somebody that today. Their series are is where is it? Like if you go and watch a Netflix series, you'll be a little bit like even I watched Uncorked. I was like, go watch Uncorked. That was good. It was basic as fuck, and the acting was dry. Like the lead, it was all that, but it was still good the, though. It was the like, it was line, like the writing was good. Yeah, the writing, yeah, the storyline was good. I, I can't yeah. do bad. Like if you are in the industry, and I'm in the industry, just to be clear, you can't do bad acting. <laughs> say it. But I know that motherfucking Ozark. Ooh, boy. Ozark, yo, Ozark. Ozark. you watched the whole thing, season three. The whole season oh, three. Uh, I'll tell you, now, you I'm, know, done, I'm done. Baby. I'm done. I want like Maybe. I'm midway through. <laughs> I'm gonna just you tell on y'all, season three, episode five. I put up a I put up a post that Wendy was a goat, and here's my reason why. What? Listen, I can't stand and I get Wendy, it, man. but I love the reason Wendy why is a goat, I, but I, the I can't stand her ass. It showed it's really it showed where she was to where she's at now, and why she's well. If you look at it in that aspect, yeah, I like, agree. But she, and yeah, she because didn't just that, play a corny ass, slowly, right? like she played a big right. part in it. Right, she's exactly. slowly progressing. She if she hate, if you hate her, into like then a she's fucking doing a fucking thing. job, and that's why I like that shit. Yeah, that they're giving some depth into what's really going on. She's not just playing. It's not a Bonnie and Clyde fucking how, thing, which we thought it was going to be. How y'all feel about how y'all feel about Tommy? In well, this well, uh, I think you the, is he spoiler alert, is he spoiler alert. In this spoiler. For people that didn't for get people watching season four, four. three. Four. All right, well, listen, no, if you this didn't see the three yet, like you want to spoil it or spoil it or spoil it or spoil it. Paul, what a fast four. We ain't saying know, nothing about what happened to I him. Know, him. I mean, it's close, to it's, his, it's close to who he is. Um, but in a cornier way. Yeah, which is fun, though. Yeah. Because the good thing about him is, um, what's his name, Adam? Is it Adam Skewer? That's what his real name? Tommy. I, Tommy, Who? Tommy. Nobody I can't knows his first name. name. I just know Skiora. No, that's not What's his, his name. first name? Joseph Sakura. Joseph Sakura. His name okay. Joseph. So I like the fact that his role as Tommy is not Tommy. He seems like what? I like the fact that he seems like authentic in that role. Not like a white guy that's a wigger. He seems like a white guy who grew up in New York yeah, in the type yeah. of way that he is. I like that about him. And his character in this show on Ozark 
is completely different. But I think he fits. He it. is a white guy True. from uh, a mouth, where he's yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I feel like he did yeah, a I good think he, job in it, but I just like him better as Tommy. I think we all like him better as Tommy, but I feel like season four we're going to get a little bit more because I saw a preview. Oh, we definitely. Um, but I didn't more. finish season three yet, so I'm I'm actually in, intrigued to see where it goes. I don't know if this happens because I, but I kind of want to see where Ruth and their relationship goes. I like Ruth ruined me too. Like that's why I said that's why I had to really. I don't like Ruth right now. Well, I, wait, I like Paul, that, that, that's like, giving me a little spoiler alert. Then if you don't like her, because from where I'm at in season three, she's very loyal. So I don't. What did she do so far? So, the so last what was the last thing you saw? saw on, on was when Marty just came back from being kidnapped. Oh, you almost done then. Who are who all is in that episode? Um, when he when came he, back, Ruth is in there because Ruth hugged him. Yeah, when he, as soon as he came back, back Ruth hugged him and now he's trying to turn the um, FBI agent. Right, FBI. but but is anybody who why who all in who all in it? Because right, I don't want to say who. Right, somebody, else move on, in, y'all not, somebody else come in the fucking episode. I just don't know. Somebody comes in on no, the episode. Nobody knew in this episode. All right, well, it yeah, ain't happening. Yes, shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that ain't happening. Well, it happened, I think. I think who you're talking about. It happened already, but... But they don't They, they don't know right. who he is. I hate so. so. Okay. Right. I think if we talk so about... So did you saw a school Yeah, it's been, school been in it. Yeah. I know she... Yeah. I know them two are connected. That's what I was talking about, the brother. Yeah, yeah I know... I know oh, yeah, I was talking about the brother. I know they're connected. But I don't see that going far. I see that just being a little piece. But anywho, I don't want to keep going because that shit drove me crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> Slap. The the true gun in this movie ain't even a fucking cartel leader. It's that fucking yes. far bitch. That bitch is that she crazy. is psycho. Crazy. She is. She killed her fucking husband. That bitch is that crazy. That bitch is fucking spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. All right, so we gotta we we, we gotta take a uh, we gotta take a small break, guys. A small chronic break, but. We're going to take a small chronic break, and uh, we're going to be right back. Um, this is the quarantine edition. episode of... This is the, yeah, this is the quarantine cool. edition. Every fucking show we do is going to be a quarantine edition. So yes, quarantine off, episode one. Am I going to be able to... Can I go get my refill? <laughs> this quarantine episode one. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you got to go do, get boo. Refill. Go get your refill. We'll be right back, y'all. This is the Uncensored Podcast on Water Ice Radio, quarantine edition. Take one. Oh, fuck that. Hold up, Wad. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck. Yo, fuck that. Before you All right, I'm back. Letter, Can you hear me? You said you had... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Fuck that, Wad. Before you tell it, the, read this letter, what's that juicy oh. shit you told me? <laughs> Kyra, you I'll say it in Kyra here. segment. It's probably going to be more connected. <laughs> you want right, to hear so that shit that right now, better. man. Fuck that All letter. Right. We're, okay. All right, and we're back. All right, so she reading it. Yeah, you I'm want to read right the letter? All right, dear uncensored, my husband and I have been together for eight years, but married for five. We have been separated since the end of January. He no longer resides in the same house as me, and during this whole COVID nineteen, I'm obsessively, no, I'm obviously concerned for his health due to new positive cases coming out from his employer. So I offer to bring him essential items, food, etc. And of course, I tell him how much I love him and deeply care for him and that I have faith that one day this will be all over with and we will be back together better and stronger. And he returned back with text messages of Satisha. <laughs> so I don't want to read her real name is in here. I'm going to read it because it's old as shit. It says, Francis, this got to be a fake name. I'm in a semi-serious relationship, and I'm sorry, but I could not let you keep hanging on. I'm so beyond shook that I didn't even bother to respond back. I hope one day he will figure out that this other woman is just going to use him as a meal ticket since her future ex-husband left her for cheating with my current husband. Francis. Wait, 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 wait. Say that last sentence again. My future ex-husband, what? My it says, I hope one day he will figure out that this other woman is just going to use him as a meal ticket since her future ex husband left her for cheating with my current husband. Oh, she left her ex husband to cheat with her new husband, with her ex husband. What? 
Yeah, her ex husband, her the the cheating, the the one that her husband is cheating on her with. Her husband left her because she was cheating oh, with, gotcha. this, okay. with Francis. Okay. I don't think she was on. I know. No. Um. I, I, I think that, that so. you need to just go ahead on and let them go. Let them go on and get that Rona together <laughs> and just move on. Stop taking him food. Why would you be taking him food and he just told you I'm in a semi-serious relationship? You you taking him food and telling him how much you love him. He ain't trying to be with you if he ain't with you during the quarantine. If he want to stay away from you during the quarantine... He done moved on, baby. She tried to get some COVID he, he, And that's what Juan says. She wants the COVID team. Yeah, that's all Juan says, because I ain't with this Francis. Here, here's what I think is happening during this COVID-19 situation. Uh, niggas is missing people that they would they cut off. <laughs> and they lonely as shit. So if you are recent to see or you recently got separated from your, your significant other. You have been in a relationship for however many plus years with this one person and now <laughs> being in a situation where you're so secluded and you really are not, you know, your home is different than what it was for years. It's hard. It's difficult. So people are definitely, I know a lot of people are double backing. You know what I mean? Um, and that's probably what she was doing. It's probably a good thing that they weren't together. For him to move on and be in a relationship, there clearly was a disconnect in their relationship <clears> at that time. Because if it was any indication that there was a chance for them to get back together, he probably wouldn't be in a semi-serious relationship. So she needs to just be smart, you know, respond and say, you know what, I respect that, and let that be the nail in the coffin for her to really move on. And get herself a COVID-19 day. Shit. I don't know, but... It look like you sleep. <laughs> This is this is what happened with this nigga and start drinking. This <laughs> but yeah, so that's what little honey said. Oh, I yeah. think I should do that. You like yeah. it? Yeah, I agree with you, little honey. I agree with every word you said for verbatim. All right. Well, everything you said. Because I don't. I don't really <laughs> All right. So yeah, why was that shit you got though? <laughs> I did not give a fuck about that letter. I'm gonna have to do it like this. Can y'all still hear me? Because um, my child is in the other room. So most of the time, he is not worried about your fucking. Most of the time, shut the. How y'all know? He is not listening to you. He ain't even listening to you for fucking forty one minutes and fourteen seconds. I always say and talk about how I don't, you know, really like doing masturbation and stuff like that. But when I'm telling y'all, I've been rubbing one out <laughs> consistently <laughs> during this whole quarantine. I have become brand new friends <laughs> with all of my toys <laughs> that I have because they have been a shoulder and a crutch to lean on during these rough times in quarantine season of 2020. 2020. <laughs> now, in the beginning of the quarantine, you know, I had somebody that was almost pleading to, you know, give me some head, you know, during these rough times. But I didn't want to get the Rona. So I was like, no. <laughs> you is a scary but then I, I'm motherfucker, like, I, At first I was like, he said like he was cool about the situation. And then I look, I'm looking at his um, live or whatever. And this dude was in New York. I was like. No, um, new, no, I'm new, glad I said no. no bro. <laughs> so, if you listen listening to this, I'm glad I said no because I forgot to tell you that. I'll tell you tomorrow, <laughs> but that was it. But so you still, oh, I mean, you still yeah, to I do. Well, he shouldn't be talking to me no more because I'm no, I'm just saying, yeah, like, he do. don't he but still want to give you a hand talking with that? He ain't gonna want you no head after this shit. I, w- I want to say this. I do think that he must. the interesting thing about this uh, COVID quarantine and chill shit is, is bringing back a different dynamic in relationships. Um, one, y'all all know, if y'all listen to the show, I'm not a fan of texting. So the video chat and the phone calls are my speed, yeah, we know. Which I feel like is the easier way for you to really connect to a person other than being around a one-on-one. So I do wonder that 
do we feel like people are going to come out like if you're in a new relationship or if you were in a budding relationship like something that was new something fresh do you feel like it new, something it is worth it? Like y'all probably are building even a better connection. Let's say like this cold event night thing shit is like going on because you can't go on dates. You can't like you can't text all day, but you're not doing nothing. For me, I feel like I'm on a phone date with so many different people, not just like on no with another male, but just with my friends. Like for example, I feel like I've talked to a group of one of what I consider my best girlfriends, and I we don't hang out. My girlfriend, Mina, Jessica, we don't hang out all the time. Because we're far from each other, and they don't like coming out like that. I'm like the party one, and they're not. But I feel like we've been connecting and actually talking more through the different apps, like House Party and Zoom, than we have outside of that. And I'm like, it's crazy to me, because I feel like we were already close, and I'm not going to say we weren't close, but I feel like I've been seeing them more. Now that I've been able to just do these video chats, and people are wanting to feel closeness to people. So because you want to feel some type of closeness, you're doing the Zooms, you're doing the house parties. Niggas is house, niggas is doing on video chats with other niggas. Y'all don't ever do that. Guy Cole before wasn't to do that, but you want to see your homie. So, and you want to see him all at one time, you go on a video chat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, give me an example. You don't want to see your homie. Say, so, one of your close friends, it's his birthday. And he like, yo, man, I want y'all to take a shot with me. And we in this situation, y'all can't get together, right? You gonna get on Zoom and do a shot with your homie and talk some shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all, I feel like I've ran into more situations where the dynamic of my friendships have been stronger through this, which is actually more to me, I would have been like, no, I ain't seen them, but like, I've been finding ways to like see them and chill and talk and like, we on phone for hours where before it was like, all right, just hit me up real quick on your way. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, I personally feel like it can build, you can actually probably build a stronger relationship throughout this process. And you can weed out the bullshit relationships that were around you at the time. That's a good point, Kyra. That's a really good point. So maybe it might not be as That's bullshit really as I was point. thinking it was from the beginning. Yeah, I just... <laughs> Yeah, he ain't gonna work. I mean, why? Because I want to be safe and not be, you know. He and that he works, but that's the thing. He works amongst the people all the time. If, if you if you not trying to see a nigga during the COVID nineteen, he is well, not essential well. to you. So when the COVID nineteen is over, oh, I ain't don't gonna try, try to, to do nothing. That's that's but I don't. I, I disagree with yeah. that though, Seth, because yeah. because if he. Well, I'm not disagreeing with. You you. I can see if we were on. A more of a, I don't even know if that would matter at this point because we we were not in a relationship, right? I've known him for a while, but I don't the the type of work that he does and the type of situations that he could be in all the time leaves me open, right, right. and it don't have nothing to really do with the fact of whether or not I like him or anything like that. But I don't want to be leaving him me open to catching something. This shit is people getting but this all the why time. Why you're? Uh, I can totally agree. Like. My like a friend of mine that works at the hospital. I'm not gonna if you live with me, that was a different situation, right? That's your home right. coming home. But if you don't, if you if you ride and ride and step to every day, you're not coming like you're in a situation where you're exposed more. And if you like said, you know you have asthma, you don't want no girl that you know that ride and step to every day who is more open to getting exposed to come over. Because but, I don't fuck with bitches that's, that's on the bus. Though. <laughs> I'm just saying, but you get what I'm saying. Like if you was, oh, or like I think you would be more careful with the people that's coming over because of the what what they're being exposed to. Like if it was, so me, I don't have to be. be. But, <laughs> but if she no, did, it would be I'm, like I have a I'm fat. Who has that's it. enough. <laughs> As my her her friend deals with he's an essential worker. Man, so because of that. her deficiency, she's like, I don't want to take that chance. So I understand where she's coming from. He don't understand it. But she's like, I just don't want to put myself in a situation where you know I'm exposing myself for an unnecessary reasons right now when we can really just chill and let this shit die down a little bit. So if a nigga can't ride out with you during this situation, then he wasn't meant to ride out at all. Is you a ride or die? He said that he said he was like it's cool we can just wait until it's um everything is is said and done. But when I saw him 
going to New York and he wasn't even working. I know he likes him. What you say? Ain't no, ain't no, oh, dark, he ain't no dark skin nigga saying that shit. Oh, he brown skin? He's <laughs> yeah, not dark I would skin. consider. He's darker than me. This is how we, he like somewhere. Welcome somewhere back, in between. Nigga. He is brown skin. He's not dark skin complex. Yes, he is. I'm going to show you a again. picture of him. I mean, I only have one glass, so I'm I'm good. I'm just I just know the nigga ain't fucking dark skin. I don't see how somebody would not want. I feel like he understood. If a, if I wasn't on Lent, if I wasn't on Lent, and I was trying to come see somebody, and I only would try to come see an individual. You know a lot of people though, so they don't really hold I'm no not weight. Want to see nobody? <laughs> fuck out of here! No, 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 no. I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about somebody I know on that level. I I'm not I'm not. Somebody That's a lot person. of fucking people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to And I mean, to I ain't gonna lie. I've, I've been, I, I've, I've already no, had it's not. three different people over here. <laughs> I, I mean, as a Gemini, I understand. <laughs> so, nigga, don't I'm lie. Not. All right, so let me ask you a question. How many no, that that don't have nothing home? to do with the, with the virus. Hold up. Why? You came back with your arms out. See, see but that was <laughs> my point. My That was my point. So, you, you, uh, you be quiet, my <laughs> nigga, because that was my point. My point was, I'm only oh, going to somebody would. that I know on that level. Like, if I if I slept with you and we had sex unprotected, yeah, I'm. But if we never did anything on that level. Like, I, I if I don't trust that niggas trust sex, bitches, y'all mean that first why night. Would I trust so that kind of good, that kind of good statement, nigga. Who, who? I can fuck a bitch on the first night, but I guarantee you, I, I'm Get stressed up. Huh? You watch your goddamn mind. I ain't fucking nobody on the first night. These in my are. 30s? That's how I don't Hell do the Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. If I, when I was 19, to, man, I wasn't buying no oh condoms Lord, at 19, 20, 21, Here's my 23. Thing. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Here's my thing. Like, I feel like, yes, I've had friends over, and, you know, it was what it was. I'm been good. I feel like if anything, I would sit there first. Like you week. don't really know if you good though, for real. Though. I feel like I would sit there first week. I haven't been six. I'm glad. Days. I'm glad that you don't have like if, even if you had it. You know, if if any, but we all the got main thing about it like is, we staying, have is it. staying away from my people that I think can get sick, and I have them. So for the most part, I mean, I had my little like I said, my one or two people over here, but for the most part, I'm three. You're three. I'm three. <laughs> No, you said three. You said three. I ain't inviting him over here. I'm. I'm sorry. Well, you can't. Yeah, you I mean, well, now, uh, but he ain't gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just said that. I, I just think him over you are inviting people over. Don't you do what I play, do. Be you more gonna play DJ tomorrow. People <laughs> be more precaution. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, l- listen. I ain't even know that this thing had as many you speeds play DJ that it tomorrow. has. On this. <laughs> Baby, I can't do toys. It's like, no, I ain't doing nothing. Um, toys is not um, my thing. Somebody came to visit me today, and I'm glad. Girl. I'm glad that my dog on trip got oh, canceled yeah. because I would have been pissed off on that because I think it changed days because it wasn't supposed to come on today. <laughs> Why wow, you you was planning on giving it up on your trip? <laughs> Cause why would you care? What I mean, if it oh, happened, I mean I wasn't oh, planning. Oh, so if it happened, you know, it okay, happened. why? I was gonna go buy buy me a oh, come on at the better. You want to do no. that? So, no. old boy was coming with you on a trip. No, he was gonna meet you there. <laughs> why, why, like I'm off the wall. Can you check us out? Take oh, us we out gotta be, we gotta be over already. <laughs> Your segment over already? Huh? Oh, there it is. Well, guys, yeah. I'm gonna take you out with my lion ass and go. <laughs> it's like that. No. I don't know how to end the show. I never end the show. <laughs> yeah, because we couldn't see none of that shit. <laughs> what? You fucked up, Slack? Your eyes, your eyes look left. Okay. I don't know what. The, I don't no, know I'm just waiting um, to take okay. us out. Thanks for listening. I just added. I yeah, just added we'll on to your you. fifteen minutes. Thanks for um. I forgot about that. Yeah. So you know, we'll be right back.
after these commercial breaks. Look at Lauren. <laughs> Edit the rest of that out. God bless you. Thank you, Giuseppe. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys. We're back. You know, I, I really miss you guys. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's, it's been hard not being in my routine. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it made me really, really realize, uh, oh, really realize the routine that I had set. Like, even with just our Instagram, our IG, like just forgetting to just do my day to day. I know some people say the days are long. I feel like the days go by pretty fast. For me personally, I feel like. I'm waking up super late. I'm trying to get my workouts in. And then by the time I cook my third meal, I'm like, damn, it's bedtime. So it's definitely going by fast. And I'm like, you know, I'm getting used to it. But I kind of wanted to ask you guys, like, what's one thing you are going to, because I know people say this all the time, like, you know, get through, work on. I was at a virtual party. I know that's, like, really big right now. And I was at a virtual party for my girlfriend, 30. Barry, yes. My girlfriend Barry on her birthday, second Barry. birthday. It was for me the littest virtual party ever. Barry. First of all, let me just tell y'all because she's a teacher, she had a whole PowerPoint. <laughs> she had games. <laughs> we was playing scavenger hunt. Like people was able to win money. Oh, for that real? That's decent. Like, so what she was doing was because she had a PowerPoint, and it was 35, it was like 35 to 40 people on the call. So her party was popping. The first part of it, we all went through. We said our names, said how we knew her, and then she went through the rules. Like everybody stay muted unless I call your name, just because you had to have some order on Zoom because they can get real crazy. So it was, it was, yeah. it worked. So the first game was like a scavenger hunt. She put up on her PowerPoint. She put up a picture. You had to run around your house, go find what it was, and then come back and say like happy birthday. And then whoever was the first one back won that round and won money. That shit was lit. And then we did it. Then That's she, fun. Yeah. So then she's very into um, re- reading and having somebody read cards. So she had somebody do a reading with everybody on their phone. And we all did like a different activity, which was like, what is something that you are, what is something that you want to get rid of? And what is something, and what is something that you want to get rid of out of your life? And in this space that we're in, where do you want to be? I think it was like, I can't remember what the question was, but I'm not into like saging and car reading. I'm not into that, but it really just made me like on a minimum le- level, like really think about in this time, right? God put this on us, right? For me, where I was at my job, I was ready to curse my boss out. Like that's where I was at. So mm. I was thinking back, like God put me on this because this was a really rough year at my job. I think if I would have stayed any longer, I might have lost my job because. The tensions was oh, very damn. high. Like, I was looking for other employment. Like, it was a lot. So, I was wondering for anybody particular, like, did this, anything, like, with this being telling you to sit down or whatever, has it brought any type of balance to your life? Has it made you, like, reset anything in your life? Um, or has it made you, like, look at something that you want to do moving forward? Why? Um... I'm not going to say that it necessarily reset anything in my life just yet, but it definitely has made me pay attention to some things more that I probably wouldn't have paid attention to before, just because I have time to actually sit and think about it Right. when I'm not, you know, working because I've already, before this happened, had been a work in progress as far as setting things in motion for myself. I feel like being here has allowed me to, invest more time and work to get more money quicker than what I probably would have if I wasn't home mm-hmm. because it's allowing me to get stuff done a lot faster. Right. But, and I mean, I've done some things like got rid of some right. clutter that I really didn't feel like doing before. And I'm in here and it has been driving me nuts trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get rid of, I'm a mail order. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how am I going to get rid of this, these pa- this paper everywhere? Like, I got to get rid of it. And I cleaned my table off. My, this weekend, I'm working on my closet. And I, when I'm telling you, I can't wait to, to tackle that closet. Right. Because I don't have nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. That's, and I'm not even really spending any money or anything like that. So that's about it for me for right now. Hopefully, more things will come into perspective because you don't have nothing but time to mm-hmm. so we'll come set everything right. Mm-hmm. What about you? 
Um, I, I it was two things with me, and uh, um, it was kind of like kind of what Juan said. I know I've been paying attention, not paying attention, but I've been mm-hmm. on like being concerned about my credit. You know, checking to see what my credit score is and how easy that how easy I can get my credit score to go up just with little certain dumb shit. Like I think this at this time it just Mm -hmm. has me more disciplined on some of the things that Right, right. um, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even pay attention to on a regular basis. You know what I mean? I'm more disciplined on focusing on the long run. Like my credit, I want to open up my own business. I got a three year plan left with SEPTA. Three years, I I have twenty years with SEPTA. Mm-hmm. My twentieth year, I want to already have a building for my own bar mm-hmm. and lounge, mm-hmm. or something where I can quit, retire, not quit, retire, freeze my pension. So, um, it just it got me paying attention to the bigger picture. It also got me paying attention to the people who really aren't reaching out at a time like this. Like, I I check on people a lot. And I check on people that I don't often talk to. Because I just right. feel like at a time like this, like, we know tomorrow is never promised. And mm-hmm. we, all three of us, we all talk all the time. And it, 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 it ain't always about the podcast, but we're talking and whatever. It's just, I reach out to certain people and, and I look at how people take for granted you know, just the opportunity right, just to right. say, hey, what's up, yo? I ain't want nothing, just checking on you. It's a lot of rap songs, like, you know, when Kanye wrote Roses. It's, it's a lot of songs out there that's like, you know, mm. man, when he tomorrow, mm-hmm. you know, give me my roses where I can still smell them. And I, I just feel like this is the time mm-hmm. because people are actually dying. And, and, and you are, you can see. And they're dying alone. Mm-hmm. They could be. Oh, yes, serious part about a lot. That is so sad to me. And they, my cousin, my cousin just mm-hmm. today is Thursday. My cousin lost mm-hmm. his dad Tuesday. Um, and I knew his dad. Like you know, we were we we a close knitted family, and it's crazy. And I I feel like oh my god, I don't want nobody close to my family to die right now mm-hmm. because. They won't have a proper mm-hmm. funeral. If you, it only probably ten mm-hmm. people can go. Between six to ten people can be at the funeral. Like you won't even give your loved one mm-hmm. a proper burial because of what's going on right now. So, I pay attention to a lot of that stuff, and I've seen a couple posts uh, about people saying, "Oh, I'm I'm just too good to people," and if they if you cross me once, it's over. And I just look at it like that's. Me personally, I'm not. I'm never gonna think like that because you're saying that you're perfect. Nobody in this world is perfect. We all make mistakes, and if you're not a forgiving individual, how can you just go along in life, not forgiving somebody? Like I feel like me not forgiving somebody or somebody not forgiving you. In that in that mix, you're blocking your blessing right, somehow right. because you still got some resentment about that individual, where. You might involuntarily take it into your next situation, whether it's a job, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You you, you will bring that into whatever situation you got. So I, I'm trying to cleanse my whole self and doing this fast. Like, I mean, the fast that I did, the sex thing was something I never did. But I went six months without drinking alcohol. So it really wasn't nothing. I've never did a fast without like masturbating. And I mean that wasn't nothing, but it's just like when I got the urge, I did it. I, I do it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't I, I didn't even get an urge to. Maybe the first two weeks, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to exit out my XN apps apps all, you know what I mean? And I couldn't go on Twitter because Twitter <laughs> said be popping and then some of the shit don't be popping. But why do people say Twitter just, is such a, it's like a yo, some of that shit like, I didn't Twitter, think, like I don't I don't, don't maybe I'm a, following the wrong people. Well, can you tell me because you don't follow the you you right, it's, it's you. certain motherfuckers you gotta follow. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you who to follow, who not to follow because this one at this this one motherfucker I was following like for like a for like two weeks straight they was showing like 
threesomes, girl on girl, and then these niggas went to what? fucking niggas on niggas and one chick, and I'm you can't tell. Sometimes you can't even tell it's a dude because the niggas be getting their ass done or something. And I don't watch 30 seconds. I'm like, oh, shit, that's a whole other nigga. Like, <laughs> so I don't get on Twitter like that no more. I don't be on Twitter like that. But, no, it's, yeah. I, you know, I was I was already scarred years ago. And I don't want to be ever, I don't ever want to be scarred again. Mm-hmm. But I've been doing like a, uh, like a, like a mental cleanse, like, Every morning, I try to listen to something that motivate me. Not Mm-mm, rap. No like, trap. I, I, I mean, I listen to rap. I don't listen to this era rap like that. But I try to, I try to listen to something every day that motivate me. Cause I hate going to work. I hate it, and I don't want to go right. go to work and then be at work with a bad attitude. Take it out right. on somebody right. who didn't have nothing to do with why I got a bad attitude. So during this time, it just made me do a lot of self reflecting on a lot of things. If you got beef with somebody, man, mm-hmm. and that shit is something y'all can talk about, like, yo, squash that shit. Like, my homie in Florida lost his dad to this fucking corona shit. Like, just like that. And they like, some people are like, well, you know, some people that's dying just like that, been sick. But okay. they also dying and sick, die alone. So they, even they, if they're they dying, they you the know, and they die for, for the corona, they still have to be by themselves, so. That's bad. Exactly. That's the worst thing. Right. You can't. Nobody is even there to hold your fucking hand. And I don't want to be petty. I'm, and I'm not, I, and, I, and I say this, like, but it's people that don't talk to me right now that don't fuck with me. And if something should ever happen to me, you know, I was like, I was on my, I was on my way to work thinking like, damn, I would tell my, I would write a list and tell my mom, don't let these motherfuckers come to my funeral. But, then I would be oh not yeah no yeah no and going into the afterlife with a petty mentality and attitude no them the individual who's going to feel it worse like when my when my aunt died her her kids one of my cousins right. they felt right. it real exactly. bad exactly. because they they knew they didn't do her the way she was supposed to be done you oh, they huh, they falling off oh, oh, I'm I'm ah. right. You ain't say that when she when you kick right. her ass out. You ain't say that when you was cursing her out. I never curse my mama. I don't care how my mom, yeah, how mad okay. my mom make me. I'm never going to curse my mom out. Never. I'm never going to kick my mom out, no matter how mad she make me. Even if she had got me caught up with a chick. That sound like that happened. That sound like that happened before. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I'm never going to kick my mom out. She about to die. That only oh, no. 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 had to be no. us no. with mom because they moms don't. <laughs> they be riding. No, y'all, no. Nigga, y'all moms be riding for y'all. Female moms, they be like, Jimmy, Chris, Let me, mom. No, no, no. No, no. My mom don't like everybody. She just, she, like she just, she put on a persona. Like, that's just, that's just her. She don't like everybody. So, it, that's not in her to be like, I don't like her. Like, she don't like one of my older brother, his ex girlfriends. He, she don't. She made a no. She oh, like Lord. her. Who the, who the fuck? Somebody is walking up on you? I don't even got my gat. Is he really walking up on your car? Yeah. What the fuck is he doing? Are you in the front or the back of the house? Yeah, this nigga. He tripping. Oh, I don't need to park on that block. So I don't know how that looks. No, I'm in the front of the house. Uh, uh. But no, 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 no. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. But anyway, right. She don't. She don't. She just. That's just not in her character to act like that. But some people are, <laughs> I will. I will say before we wrap up. You know, the only thing. I mean, there's multiple things that I have issues with, and I ain't. I ain't fixing them all. But I think my home is my first priority. My first priority, um, and just making sure that I finish managing like this work life balance, um. But I think connecting to through my friends has been important to me and part of that dynamic and just keeping it um because it's important to make sure I find that time for my friends and my family and doing fun stuff and being as creative as possible and also getting my help together. Like I was really on that journey right before this all started. So I was very like taken back by the fact that I can't work out no more. I can't see my trainer no more. So it kind of really hurt me because I'm like, I'm the type of girl that needs a trainer. That's why I fucking spent the money that I did. I never liked working out in the house. So 
it's really hard for me. I don't want to come out of this um, on a 600 pound life. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm constantly watching. I'm, I, yeah, I'm watching right? the episodes to keep me motivated. You know, I'm a comic. I'm a um, comic. Because I just <laughs> cannot. So, I mean, I have been doing pretty good with my eating. There wasn't a blue moon, we'll spurge and get something unhealthy. But everything in my house is pretty healthy. So I don't buy unhealthy food because I don't want to even have those options. But I am trying to make sure that I'm working out and keep myself busy because it gets real easy to lay up in that fucking bed all day. It gets real easy. So if you got friends, like, do that shit together. Like, I have True. a group that I follow on Instagram. They kind of keep me accountable because the girls be posting their healthy shit. Like, damn, they posting my... Let me post my healthy shit. They be posting their workout videos. Like, damn, let me post my workout video. So it kind of forces you to be a little bit more accountable. So that kind of helps because I really don't want to come out here on fatter than I can't, like started. That don't make no fucking sense. So... Um, overall, this shit is real. I am glad that we figured out a way so that we can still contact, you know, keep ourselves in touch and make sure that we keep in touch with our viewers and hopefully even try to spend this shit even more during this corona. The coronavirus! Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Lori. Yeah, please, she definitely does safe. deliver. Um, make sure y'all check on y'all loved ones, man. Check on up. the... Shout out to Lori. She definitely does deliver. And Lori, Lori said, "No, I'm not gonna say what Lori said because that's that's Lori. That's Lori. <laughs> that's a, it's like she she was being so she, gonna say it. the way I was gonna say it. But we will Lori. have her information in our description so you can but, check out Lori, you know, who is our wine sponsor. Um, yeah. So well, you well, need her got, for got, any, I don't even really know how to put that one out there. <laughs> that's not good. I was going to say something. Well, like, you funeral, but thank you. I didn't know how thank to you. put that in there <laughs> with the COVID. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, Juan. So, um, yeah, check on your friends. Check on the elderly. Check on your parents. Squash your beef. Tomorrow's not promised. This shit out here is serious weather. You're a cons- uh, conspiracy yeah, you uh, theorist. <laughs> That's a word. Shout out to Water Ice. Um, shout out to Water Ice Radio. Shout out to Giuseppe. Hollywood, heck, I know he <laughs> is in a bunker somewhere. <laughs> you know, he ain't worrying about doing this shit. He probably got flip flops on. Um, shout out to Jay the Gentleman. Everybody from the water, from water Ice Radio, Just Grub, everybody that's on that um, on that platform with us. We are hey. the Usher's Podcast. I'm slapping right here. A little honey. Hey, little honey. Hey, little honey. Hey, skinny honey. More wine is here. More wine. More wine here. Bye. <laughs>